Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of Glory Hunter with Nice. Today we take on Celtic in the Champions League as we look to try and make our way up the Champions League league table. Let's have a look at the results we've had since we've last been together. And we start following the narrow loss to Manchester United by beating St Etienne by four goals to Nelsilla, Nunez, Missouri and Smith Rowe with the goals. Then we squeaked past La Havre thanks to Nicholas Jackson's penalty. We had a great result against Salzburg in the Champions League, which has lifted us up the table. Thank goodness for that. Smith Rowe, Nelson, Van der Breet and Scally with the goals. We beat Nantes by two goals to nil again. Two goals for Nicholas Jackson. And last time around, Joe Scally's 92nd minute winner got us past Montpellier. So the French Cup ninth round has been drawn as we look to win it for the third time in a row. Borg Perinas are our opposition in League 1. It's going very, very well. Paris Saint-Germain have lost a game since we've last been together. So the gap is five points at the top. Gold dust at this time of the season as we head into the Christmas programme in the Champions League. We are right on the bubble. Seven points from our five games played so far. So we do have the chance to make a big jump with a win to get us on to 10 points. Double figures should be enough to get you through to the knockout stages or at least to the playoff round. Celtic, they need a win for a much different reason. They're still on three points. Four defeats from five. Can we make it five from six? Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups of Celtic star with Richie in goal. Welsh, Lagerbeck, Naroki, Henrik, Holm, Hate, Smallbone, Dragested, Astabanvich with Ross leading the line as we start with Rovic in goal. Van der Breet, Dragusin, Silla, Ugdogi, Carboni, Onana, Luis, Arabas, Nelson with Colo Omani leading the line. Now, Celtic Park is a very difficult place to go, particularly on a European night. Can they get them to another win to get them back into contention of getting through? Can we stop them, more importantly, to get ourselves into a prime position for getting through with two match days to come after this? Let's see what happens, shall we? Come on, boys. This is us to get us off and underway. Back onto balance today. Celtic might have more of the ball, but we'll see what we can do as Anana's got it in the centre circle. Plays it across into Odogi. Up towards Nelson. Into Luis, driving through midfield. Odogi onto Nelson again. Carboni playing more centrally today with Arabas on the right. Nelson on the left, though. Driving into the penalty area. I mean, this would be a perfect start. Ball across into the penalty area. Arabas hits the bar. Interesting. Don't normally see that sort of highlight right at the start, do we? Dragusin into Anana. I mean, it's pressure right from the start. Which means an early goal is probably coming here. Van der Breek towards Mawani in the centre. It's headed away by the defender. Will it be kept in play? No, it will go behind for an early corner. Perfect start from us, really. Onto the front foot. Nelson has got the corner. Ball in towards that penalty area, headed over the bar by Dragusin. So a good start. As I say, get a bit of encouragement on the field early doors. Yes, that's what I want to see. Don't be intimidated by the atmosphere. It will be feverish, I would imagine. Van der Breek with the throw. On to Carboni. Lots of people bunched together. There we go. Spread out, please. He's not a bunch of grapes. Carboni inside the penalty area. Will he get a shot? He will. Oh, he's hit the post as well. No, the crossbar. Rattled twice now. Wish they'd make the goals bigger. Wouldn't be a problem then, would it? Just saying. Ball into Nelson. Round the corner for a doggy. We've not seen Celtic in the attacking sense so far. It has all been defending as they get it away once more. We are turning the screw right on half time. Can we break it down? Breach into Arabas, blocked by the defender. Smallbone will tap it away towards Hasabonovic. Hasabanovic? Hasabanovic. There we go. Dragusin comes across and deals with that pretty comfortably. And that is half time. Domination from the first half. Not possession wise. Shots at goal, obviously. Two hitting the crossbar. Can we get one under the bar in the second half? I really hope so. Be nice to win a Champions League game. 
Obviously, we beat Salzburg last time around, but we lost to Manchester United, and that sucked, to be fair. But we did give them three goals, or two at least, from poor defending. Today, we seem much more at it, which is good. And Carboni has picked up an injury. That does mean we are going to make a change. And Arabas is on a 6.2. He's having a shocker. So Smith Rowe is going to come on for him. Easy substitution to make. And we're going to make a change on that right-hand side as well. Diop is going to come on for him. And we'll leave Moani on for now. Everybody else is looking okay. Although Van der Breek is on a yellow card. We'll have to keep our eye on him. As a doggy's got the throw. I think it's a question of when it comes rather than if it comes at the moment. As Luis has got the ball inside the penalty area. And there it is. Moani. First goal of the season for him. But the hand up from the referee. But I think it's going to be given because everyone's got their hands in the air. And we lead by a goal to nil just after half time. We deserve it, to be honest. Moani nudging it into the net. Was it going in from Luis's initial shot? Probably. But yeah, Moani off his back. By the looks of it, who knows? Anyway, we lead. And that is the most important thing. Smith Rowe driving through midfield. Mawani on towards Destiny. That takes us up to 17th. That's much better, much more secure in 17th. Okay, Dougie plays it back into Luis. On to Smith Rowe. Tries to turn around the corner. Does a full turn inside the box. Shouldn't be allowed to do that, but was. And that's why Celtic are where they are in the table at the moment. Let's have a look at another couple of changes with 25 to play. So we're going to take off Destiny. We're going to get Joe Scally on. And we're going to make a change in midfield as well. Anana's going to come off, is he? Yes. And we're going to bring on Julian. Let's see if we can grab another one before the end. So Scally's got the throw on the left. Into Smith Rowe. Scally again. Back into Smith Rowe. Space has opened up for him. Can he line up a shot? He can, and he'll drive it into the net for 2 0. Beautiful goal from Emile Smith Rowe. And that will do us. We can go back to France happy. We are going to leave Celtic Park with all three points. It's a good 1 2 between these two. And then they just don't close him down, frankly. Before they close him down, it is too late. He drives it into the corner. And that'll do. I mean, yeah, get Lisa Diaby in. Why not? So Joe Scally has got a throw. He finds Smith Rowe, who has turned the game, to be fair, since he's come on. Definitely made things a bit more interesting down the centre. He's a very good player. And we don't have any more substitutions to make, I'm afraid. Mr. Van der Breek, you'll just have to see it out now, I'm afraid. Because we find him on the right. He's not going to have much defending to do. I don't think he's had much defending to do all day. I haven't seen Lebrovic at all. Van der Breet. Across into Julian. On towards Luis. Feed it through the gap. Now he finds Scali instead. Up the line for Diaby. Can he find a ball into the centre? He'll find Scali again. Luis as we're working it well around the edge of the box. And it's opened up for Luis and he's driven it in the opposite corner. Couldn't score for Toffee in the first half. We've got three in about 20 minutes now. And we are enjoying ourselves. Rafael Luis with the goal. Again, Celtic don't close him down. And you have to. When players drive inside your penalty area like this, you just cut him inside. And he's allowed to do what he wants to do. And we'll take that all day long. It is too late for Ramsey and for Amrabat. And Farini, I think that was coming on as well. Chance for 4-0. I mean, this would be really embarrassing for them. They have not shown up at all, Celtic. It has been a walk in the park at Celtic Park. He finds Dragusin onto Julian. Round the corner. Finds Van der Breek. Still plenty of bodies forward. Drives towards the byline. Comes across the defender. Does win the ball. As we still keep it. Plays it back into Julian. Nice one, two. Van der Breek low. Someone's down. Diop with the shot anyway. And it is eventually cleared away. <laughs> Dracusi. <laughs> Needs to be more subtle than that, I'm afraid. I know he pushed him under the ball, but Jesus Christ. Long goal kick from Richie. Into the final few minutes. I'm enjoying myself today. Flick on. I've seen our goalkeeper. Is he going to get a touch of the ball? He is going to get a touch of the ball. Bobrovic plays it into midfield. All right, two touches of the ball. Don't get greedy. Jesus. Silla. 
through the gap. It's got to, it's got to go away from our goal, please. I'd like a clean sheet. Oh, he's giving it straight to him. Ross with the shot. He has redeemed himself. He was bored, obviously. <laughs> he's had nothing else to do. Farini with the corner. Chance for Celtic to get a consolation, perhaps. Ball into the penalty area. Rafa Luis gets it away. Ross will pick it up. What will he do with it? Plays it to the edge of the box, but Diop will get it away. And we'll eventually get it out to the edge of the box. Smilbone has still got it. Shot over the bar. Four minutes of added time. The Celtic fans will probably be on their way home. It's been a disappointing night for them. Probably means their Champions League adventure is going to end at the group stage. But they're used to that, unfortunately. For them, at least. As Van der Breek comes up the right. Plays it in towards Smith Rowe. Bit of a hospital ball, but we do retrieve it. Diaby. Going to feed that through to Mawani. Now he's fine. Diop instead. Will he get a shot away for four? It's blocked behind by the defender. And it is at the right end of the field from our perspective. Scally. Tries to find somebody in the middle and cannot. Oh, easy. Oh, he's still sent off in the dying seconds, sir. As Henrik has got the ball. He has thrown it in to Dizan. And the referee is going to put Celtic out of their misery shortly. Is he headed away at the far post? Clean sheet still intact. And it is remaining intact as we win by three goals to nil. First half, it was all about crossbars. Second half, we were much more clinical. Three shots on target, three goals. You love to see it. And with match day six out of the way, we are up to 18th. In front of some big clubs, Paris Saint-Germain being one of them. And the French side struggling in the Champions League at this point in time. We've got two more games to play after this in the group phase. But I would think we are into the playoff round at least. So next time around we go back to the Championship Challenge as we take on Marseille in the derby. So we'll take on Toulouse in between ahead of the winter break in France. And we will see what we can do after that thank you so much for watching today's video if you've enjoyed it please leave a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i'll see you next time goodbye